Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading Scorpio, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have not already subscribed. For those of you guys that are wanting to see more of the videos, uh, definitely hit that notification bell so you can be notified as soon as these videos go up. All right, my lovelies, we're going to start off with the oracle cards. We're going to receive the messages that Spirit has for you in regards to love and romance. Then we will jump quickly into the tarot cards. So let's get into it, Scorpio. Let's see what Spirit has. Now you have Goddess of the Moon at the present. You also have Victory. And you have Envy. Okay. All right, so Goddess of the Moon is really paying attention to your intuition, Scorpio. I feel that for the coming weeks, uh, even going into February, you're going to be very much intuitive. Um, you're going to be able to uh, pick up on certain energies. Um, pay attention to that. Try the best you can not to ignore it. I also do see a lot of momentum coming for you guys for this new moon. Um, we have new moon in Capricorn. Uh, so this is all to do with setting out your intentions of that, uh, what you're trying to manifest, what you're trying to bring towards you. Um, again, it is that of the feminine energy here. So even if you're a male, uh, you may find yourself being a little bit more emotional, more sensitive. Um, really, probably the best you can. Again, like I said, you're being guided right now. You're, you're being called to listen to your intuition. And that's going to be something that you're going to be experiencing in the next coming weeks. So again, uh, pay very close attention to that. Now, I do see victory here for some of you guys. Uh, this could be in regards to love and romance. This can also be um, victory in the sense of sometimes, uh, unfortunately, we have people around us that may be envious of us. Uh, this could be people that you would trust or that you would consider being genuine friends. Um, I see them very closely looking at looking at how you're living or looking at how things are progressing for you in a very positive way and you may often find yourself uh having a friend or someone around you make like little snap comments um and it's coming from very low vibration so again i feel that um you're gonna be they're seeing you as they're seeing you as being blessed or having a lot of opportunities around you and it's almost like that question of, you know, why isn't it not me? Why does it always have to be Scorpio? Of course, they don't see your inner struggles. They don't see what you've been through to get to where you're at. They don't see um, the difficulties that we have to overcome. Oftentimes, it's very easy for people to see from an outside perspective and to feel that you're very blessed and that you have it easy when in reality, uh, we all have to go through our own battles, you know? So again, be mindful of that type of energy. If you feel like you're going to a friend or someone that you trust to get some type of advice, try to discern if the advice that you're getting is to the best of your interest. Um, a lot of the times we can, you know, give advice. Ultimately, if that advice is not to the best of your interest, then perhaps it's not coming from a genuine place. So pay attention to that, Scorpio. All right, let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has in regards to love and romance. Now, the cards that represent your partner is the Lover card, the Four of Swords, and the Knight of Coins. Cards that represent you at the present time is the Magician, the Devil card, and the King of Cups. Wow. You have very strong energy right now, uh, Scorpio. And again, this could also have a lot to do with all the astrological alignments. It's like they're assisting you right now. Um, your partner is viewing the situation. Perhaps there was some type of uh, temporary uh, separation for some of you guys. For others of you, this could just represent that they're not uh, really communicating at the moment. And they're seeing the situation as trying to... Um, take it slow. I feel that for some of you guys, there's a bit of frustration here. Uh, it could be because of the person that you're interested in or the person that you're dealing with is not as communicative. They're not texting. They're not responding. Um, I see them more with the Knight of Coins. I feel that they could be very focused in work or their finances. Uh, they could have a lot of um, 
burdens or responsibilities that they're currently dealing with and that could be the reason why you have the four of swords here representing them uh, so it's not you know not as communicative as you would want um, there is a slow and steady type of energy here that's unfolding however you have the magician the devil and the king of cups this is your energy right here with the king of cups i see you guys very much into your element very much empowered or you will be feeling empowered the devil card is to represent everything that we have experienced in the past whether it was toxic traits or toxic relationships i see you guys really coming into your own with the magician this is you acknowledging certain things that you've needed to work on or perhaps certain things that you've needed to release for some of you guys it could be that you were dealing with a person or individual that could have been toxic or they could have kept you wondering exactly where you stand with them. Uh, with the magician and the devil, it's like you're no longer going to be entertaining that type of energy. The devil is coming to the understanding of the toxic traits or toxic behaviors of us or those around us. So I definitely do see you guys cutting that out or pushing that out of your life. The magician is being in control, Scorpio. This is you really having the potential to manifest the ideal relationship that you want and that you deserve with the king of cups i see you guys being very ready i see you guys being open to receiving love or to receiving the relationship that you've been hoping for you've been asking for a lot of you guys could be dealing this could be uh speaking about a person from your past um with the lover's card they are still holding on or they're still wanting to hold on to this connection or to this relationship if you have children um, with this individual, it could just represent that uh, oftentimes they do wonder or they do question um, what could have been in the past. Uh, again, what they're telling you here is do not dwell in the past, Scorpio. It's very important, especially for the coming months, for you to really set out intentions and to really put yourself in the expectancy mode. Uh, whether it be in your finances or whether it be in love and romance for those of you guys that are single it could represent that there's an individual that's coming towards you it could be another water sign scorpio pisces cancer or it could be an aries uh, or a capricorn as well that's coming towards you that is giving you some type of offering some type of um love or professing their love and their interest to you uh but again with the four of swords i would highly uh recommend for you guys to uh, if you're still dealing with past uh, energies or people from the past, it's start to set out on a new journey. It's start to flip the page, flip the script, uh, start a new chapter in your life. Don't dwell on the past. Now, your next card here is the King of Swords and the Justice card. So these are the cards that are representing the person of your interest or the person that's coming in. Uh, King of Swords is knowing or having a, clean, uh, a clear and concise idea of what it is that they want in a partnership. With Justice card here, uh, things are becoming restored or the balance is being restored. If you are dealing with someone that has not really communicated with you or hasn't been very straightforward, I do see them coming towards you. Perhaps it's something where you haven't really heard from them from a while. Uh, but they are coming back around and they're trying to clear things up. They're trying to um, give you an explanation of why they've been MIA for a bit. With the Justice card, I do see them being authentic in their um, in their conversation with you. I do see them kind of, like I said, restoring their balance here. Uh, it could have been that they had a lot of things that they were dealing with uh, on a personal aspect. Now, your cards here is the five of coins and the six of coins. So the five of coins is feeling like you over give in relationships or in partnerships. This is the card that ha that speaks highly about lack um, for those of you guys that are single. It's time for you to stop focusing on the lack of not having a partner or someone that you can uh, emotionally depend on. Uh, what they're telling you is focus more on uh, the ideal partner that you're wanting, what type of relationship you're wanting to bring towards you. The Six of Coins does speak about a give and take type of energy. So again, I do see new people coming into your life, Scorpio, that are much more suited to the type of personality that you have. Uh, this is a partner that does have potential for something long term. And it's coming in rather balanced. We have Justice here on their side and the Six of Coins on your part. 
So this is balance. This is the exchange of energies. This is giving and taking and, and receiving as well and, and being very uh, attuned to what's best for your partner, what's best for you, um, that type of energy. So again, a, a lot of you guys are going to be dealing with perhaps a Gemini, um, Aquarius, Libra type of energy. For others, you may be dealing with an Aries, um, Capricorn is here as well as water element as well. So again, I do see new beginnings. Uh, the message here is let go of the past. Uh, it's time to uh, keep pushing forward and look towards the future and plan. I do see you guys being very like your energy is very high right now with the mission and the devil. There's nothing you cannot manifest right now, uh, Scorpio. So try the best you can not to dwell on the sadness of the past, not to dwell on you know, uh, partners always hum and they're, you know, things just don't pick up or they don't, uh, they don't become concrete. It's no longer time to be dealing with that type of energy. Put your intentions out with the magician and the devil and your card here, the king of cups. You have the full potential to manifest the type of relationship that you're wanting. And the chances of you meeting a specific individual are very heightened here. Um, I do see new love coming towards you. So again, very positive read for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.